Good morning everybody from the top of ski, another one of the ski runs and ski lifts here on uh, Millbury Snow Bowl. We just started day, where are we at Marmalade, 15? What? Day 15? Yeah, day 15. Day 15. We are going to head up to, uh, I'll just kind of show you around here a little bit. We're going to head up to uh, Skylight Lodge today. It's a shorter mile day, but uh, the lodge looks beautiful, and we're going to get some great views from out of there, looking at gut hooks and checking it out. It's a place that uh, I've been kind of looking forward to staying, so we cut our miles down a little bit just so we could uh, do this and had to actually uh, back off on our food some. But as you can see in the background, beautiful mountainous day. We're going to be doing some pretty huge climbs today, although it's only six miles. But I think that's going to be par for the course for the rest of this trail. So we're going to have to get used to it, and that's the way it is. So that's going to be it for now, and we're going to get some more once we get going up these uh, mountains. Get some sweat going. All right, PT out. Hey. Reached a destination today. I'm not going to bend down because it'll hurt my knees even more. Oh, what's that say? One halfway. Woo! 273 divided by 2 is 136.5, right? He's clearly a math genius. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, baby, halfway. All right. Good job, man. Good job. Another half to go. Yep. Good job. All right, so we'll do mine the same way. All right, I figure we're about halfway through with our day coming up here uh, this is a little uh, side trail burnt hill trail not sure exactly where it goes but obviously it goes to FR 59 and Norsk trail but uh, give you a little idea what the trails like today in the flat parts because uh, the ups and downs I'm breathing way too hard to deal with it and uh, the downs I got to put my poles in my hand to keep myself from falling on my butt but uh, as you can see, every you know few hundred feet, you got a pile of mud. You got to go around, and uh, that's just the way it is. So we're getting around it. We're doing okay, and life is good. All right, a lot of hard work to get to this one, and once again, camera doesn't do it justice. But that's what you got to do to get the eyeball view you got to work so nice view of the Vermont mountains so we are probably a mile or so from the campsite having a good day so far but uh, doing some serious climbs all right so here's a nice it's uphill but uh, and it's slick a nice little cavern this is pretty cool you're walking through mossy, wet, but it is beautiful. I'm going to stop there and put this phone away. All right, everybody, so we made it to Skylight Lodge. Actually, for the six miles that we went, it was a tough day. That's why my sweaty clothes are hanging up there and my shoes are drying out because uh, we were mud slogging. But there is the view of the pond, the beaver pond from what they say. Uh, we actually got our water from a spring. So we are not gonna go down there and get beaver water, catch the beaver fever. That's some bad news. Uh, up there's the privy, but uh, here is the lodge. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll take you inside here. We're kind of set up, but uh, can't stay too long outside because these uh, black flies will eat you alive. <clears throat> so, 
up the stairs. Knock, knock. Hey. On video. Cover yourself up. So inside the lodge, nice little picnic table. I'm gonna sleep over there. Marmalade's already hooked up over there, taking a taking going to take a nap. There's an upstairs. That stuff I actually think is left here. I don't know what the deal is with that. But don't do that, people. Yeah, don't do that. Possibly the caretaker sleeps up there. I don't know, because there's supposed to be a caretaker at this place. But the outside view, absolutely gorgeous. Gets too warm in here. We're probably gonna open up those windows because they actually have screens on them. So it's a marathon through here. All right, that's what we're doing right now. I'll do another one before we close out tonight. All right, everybody. So I came down here to the pond and uh, taking a little view of that. It's a little more marshy over here on the left hand side than I thought it would be. There goes a the blue jay right there. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but very beautiful. And the bugs are a swarming. But I'm going to get you a view of the cabin from down here. Right up there through these Christmas trees. So we're going to head out uh, to back to the trail. There's a little side trail that we're going to take and maybe get some views out of there off of a cliff. If we can get to it. All right, everybody. So we took a little side trail here, not too far from the Skyline Lodge, to get this view for you and us. Actually, a nice breeze here. So, the sunset will be amazing over here, which I don't think I'm going to make it back to. But we might. Sunset you know, Rock. Sunset Rock is what it's called. Very little outcrop here, and a small little trail to get to it, but it's pretty awesome. So, here is what the walk into the Skylight Lodge looks like. Pond over there to the left. And there's the lodge. This would have been a much more enjoyable stay if it wasn't for the bugs because you can't even go outside without being in full armor. Alright everybody, as the sun goes down over the pond, go ahead and close out today. And there's something swashing around in the water over there I can't see. I think it's this goose. There was a couple goose that were swimming along earlier. But uh, just going to wake up tomorrow. We're going to have a big day or bigger day. I think it's about a 12 mile day. And uh, we're going to see how... We feel at the end of that one, we're going to stay on, hoping to going to stay on Sunset Ledge, I believe it is. So, big day tomorrow. We're going to get plenty of rest and get it done. But it's a beautiful sight right here. All right, out for the night.